Hello everyone and welcome to this Java series. Today in this tutorial we are going to be going over data types. We kind of went over it uh, over a little bit, like we kind of skimmed through it in the first uh, video, but we're going to go a bit more in into depth. I'm going to ex explain all of these uh, data types uh, that Java has to offer and we'll see how it goes. So, first I guess we can start off with the uh, numbers. Uh, we can start off with the smallest um, data type that there is um, uh, when dealing with, with numbers of course which is the byte now the byte only stores as in the name of stores only one byte so I guess we can go uh, byte and then go byte number as the name and let's say we store this as 5 now the byte as in the name can only store one byte so that's the size of it so one byte is between uh, minus 128 to 127. So for example, if we do anything outside of that range, so we do 129, let's see we have an error. Because this byte, this data type byte, can, can only store a maximum of one byte, which is between minus 128 to minus, uh, sorry, to 127. So if we go to minus, 128 you can see it's, that it's fine but if we go and uh, below that minus 129 you can see we get an error so that's the range minus 128 to 127 and obviously you can you can you can print it out like we seen in, in the last video we do this so control enter and then we can just put in byte number print that out and you'll see that we'll get minus 126 so that's the first data type. The second biggest one, I'd say the second smallest one, I should say, is the short. And then we can just do short number. And that's equal to 5 for now. So the short number is just one above the byte. Uh, sorry, the short is just one above the byte, which stores two bytes. Which is a bit of a bigger number. So this stores from minus. 32,768 to 32,767. I'm not gonna be going in. Um, I'm I'm not gonna be explaining um, the margin of the remaining uh, data types. But that's just the way they go. It goes uh, one byte and then two bytes and then so on. So this. Yeah, so this works exactly the same way. If we do any big number, you can see we, we will get an error because it it does um, uh, this number is too big to be stored in the short, so it does have to be within a certain uh, range. So that, that's a short. Um, then the next one is which we seen in the first uh, video. It's called the int. So that's the int number. So once again, we can store this as an even bigger, bigger number. We can store this as three bytes now. So this is one of the bigger ones. It's the one that's mostly used, I think. Um, and this has a pretty good one. I think it's over two billion we can store. Well, in total, it's like four billion numbers that we can store. So it's a pretty good range to use. This was the one that I usually use the most, the int. So then the fourth one we have is the long. Now this number is big, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But so <laughs> that's how big this number is. And uh, sorry, actually that is my mistake. This actually starts four bytes, not three. And then we got the long number and we can set this as a big number. Not this one, not that big number, but how big can we do it? There you go. So it's a pretty big number. This now this is we can sort eight bytes in this. Just still a lot. This is the biggest one that we can do, I believe. Uh, the long, and yeah. So bas basically, the, the way it works is it just goes up. Um, it goes up by two. So the byte can only start one byte. Then the short two bytes, the inch uh, four bytes, and the long can start eight bytes. So it depends what range you want to use. Um, for example, if you're writing a program, 
that the value will not be like a very big number you know you can just use like a short or an int there's no need to, to use a long or for, for example if you know that your number is going to be big then you should pick the, the int or the long like if you're going to use the byte then, then and if you're using a very big number it's just going to go out of uh, range so it is important to pick which data type you use but I usually use the int, the integer. Obviously, it depends what size uh, I, I want to use, but mainly I use the int. The next one that we're going to be going into is the double. The double bas basically just stores uh, fractional numbers. So, you can use double, and you can do uh, double number, which is equal to like let's say two point two. So. The first thing I'm going to say, these four numbers here are for whole numbers. These are whole numbers. So there's no decimals, Anton. These ones are fractional numbers. And it's parent because, so for example, if we try to do uh, like 0.2 and see if we get an error. Cause these, so these, all four of these have to be full numbers. These ones are a bit different. Um, these can be full numbers, and but they can also be uh, fractional numbers. So we, you can see we can keep this as a two. And if we print this out, whatever double number, and you see we get we still get a fractional. Even though we have two, it's still going to print out as a fractional. So it's going to print out two point two. So that's a double double um, minuses. Um, also work you can do like 205 you see and then if you print it out you will print out minus 205 so you can go in the negatives but unlike these four data types we can go and use fractions there is another one that we can use that's in the fractional it's called the float now the float is a bit different um, it might take you a bit just to get used to it Let's say we have a flow number, and let's say we do 2.2. You can see that we do get an error here. Now, the reason for this is we need to tell it that it's a flow number. And um, the way we do that is we simply write an F here. And now if we print this out, See, we get 2.2. It's the same thing if we do like we, we can do 2f, it's gonna act the same way as a double, it's gonna print out uh, 2.0. Um, however, if it's not a fraction, we don't need the f, only it only if it's a fraction, and but it's still it's still gonna print out um, 2.0. Now, the next thing is which is kind of important. Um, Let's say we have a number here which is like 2500 If we print this out now, you can see what's going to happen is um, Oh yeah, so there is actually a max that we can have So you, you can see that it's not actually going to print out the remaining so there is a max that we can have with the floats the float is a bit is it is similar to the double but it, it will take a bit of time to get used to it now just the very last thing that i will say about the flow is let's say we have numbers something like 1.8732e um, and then we do 3f so, what this is going to do, if you print that, it's going to move this decimal place three times over t to this side. So you can see it start off first, then it's going to move here, one, two, three, then you can see that it prints out here. So that's the way you can um, move the, uh, the fractional number, or the dot, um, or the decimal, 
over um, in your number. So that's the flow. Um, a bit hard to get used to it sometimes, you just need to play around with that one. Uh, the next one that we can use, um, we're gonna go into. So we're gonna go out of numbers now, and we're gonna go into uh, letters, characters, text, and so on. So, I don't know, let's do like text. So, one of the ones that you've seen me use uh, in the previous in the previous video was the shrink. You can also see that it is written up here as well. So we go shrink, and we'll do name. And then we can set ourselves a name to uh, do Peter. Now, when whenever you're using the data type shrink, the the text that you want to store has to be um, in these uh, speed bubbles. Um, and if obviously if you print it out. that it will print out the name Peter. We also we can do stuff like so there can be spaces as well and like it's not just one word we can have a sentence. We can do Peter is my name and it will print out Peter is my name. So that's text and um, the next one is for storing only characters which is gonna be the car. Now the car can store any letter. So for example, we can do let's say L. And this will store any letter, right? So you can see if we have two letters, we we will get an error. So we can only store one letter. Now this can the this the character the it type can be used for the um, ASCII table, um, but I'm not going to get into that now. Uh, that'll be a different video uh, but it's just a way of um, of getting values from the car so you can see that we are putting five um, so it does store other values as well that are in this table but uh, that'll be a later video and then I guess the last one that I can show is the boolean now the boolean is a very simple one uh, with no value I'm going to set this as true the boolean can only store false or true or in other words one or uh, zero or one so it's either false or it's true it's one of the it's one or the other so if we print this out we go value Let's see if we get true. Obviously if I change this to false, we will get false. Um let's say we we have as false first. So what I'm gonna do is let's see the way of root. Let's set the value of this to true now. And then let's just print that again. And let's run this. You see that firstly it was false. We print it out, false, and then we set it to true, and now it's true. So, those are data types. Um, as I said, there are a bit more that we, we can do with the character uh, data type using the um, ASCII table, but uh, that will be a different uh, video. But for now, that's all. Uh, I hope you see you in the next video.